How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to get a body like Spider-Man. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training from me, simply comment below in the comment section. We'll get back to you guys with more details. So I've been getting a lot of questions from people asking how to look jacked like Tom Holland, who plays Spider-Man, you guys. When Tom Holland played Spider-Man, his stats were 5'8", and he was 20 years old. I'm 25 years old, you guys. I'm 5'9", so our stats are pretty similar. I'm pretty sure I outweigh him by a little bit. I am roughly one inch taller than him with me being 5'9", you guys. So what kind of workout did he do, and could we maybe make his workout a little bit better? So I looked at his workout, you guys, and Tom Holland's workout consisted a lot of sprints, box jumps, sledgehammer swings, sit-ups, burpees, boxing, parkour, gymnastics, bench presses, and deadlifts. So it was a complete mix of things. When I looked into the bench press and the deadlift, he didn't do it with a lot of weight. He simply used 145 pounds and just did it for 10 repetitions. Uh, same with the bench, 145 pounds, he did it for 10 repetitions as well. So what can we take away from the exercises that he did? 95% of the exercises that he did were calisthenic in nature, you guys. But there was no real progression with these exercises. He just followed the same exercises over and over again. I believe that I can help you guys get the same body as Tom Holland, but what I would do is make it a little more well-rounded in my opinion. For example, if it was me, I would only work out every other day. The reason I wouldn't train every day is due to the fact of your agonist your antagonist and your synergi synergist muscles, you guys. For example, your biceps are the agonist when you perform a bicep curl, but your tricep acts as the antagonist, you guys. They're still working to some degree. That's why if you train every day, you're, you don't get that overlapping with the exercises. For example, when you train your chest, your pecs, or sorry, when you train your chest, your lats are still used to some degree, you guys. Even when you're training your shoulder, you train your shoulders, your back is going to get hit as well. So I would work out every other day, three days a week. Everyone also wants Tom Holland's abs. That's a big reason why they do the program. So I would include flutter kicks and rolling ab crunches with a weighted plate every workout three times a week you guys really hammer those abs people want six pack abs we can get you six pack abs but you got to train them every other day three times a week high frequency you guys and preferably doing some way of progression you don't need to just use weight but weights are the best way to progress um this will help us out to get a crazy six pack, you guys. I would also add in a bit more direct shoulder work such as wide grip upright rows, you guys, with a barbell and front plate raises either with dumbbells or just the plate itself. Everyone loves ripped shoulders, you guys. I cannot stress that enough. You want ripped shoulders, people are gonna be like, whoa, and you just look much more broader, you guys. I've noticed for myself, my shoulders have been lagging. I start adding direct shoulder work. My whole body, everything starts popping. Yours will too, trust me on this. So that's all I would fix with his program. I would just make a few improvements to help you guys get a crazier six pack and more ripped shoulders. So end the video, comment below. I wanna know what you guys think. What is your go-to ab exercise and what is your go-to shoulder exercise for getting crazy ripped abs and ripped shoulders? So end the video, thank you guys so much for watching.